Hey, what's going on? My name is Marting, and this is Matter Hacks, a video series brought to you by Actionable Insights. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be discussing the Insta360 ONE X2 and the recommended accessories that go along with the camera and scanning it in a claims environment. But first, I want to say thank you to Insta360, not only for sending us out this camera, but for sponsoring this five-part video series. If you missed the first two videos, go ahead and check the link down below. It'll take you right to those first two videos, and you can be caught up on everything involving the Insta360 ONE X2. Let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right in. So the first recommended accessory is actually the Insta360 ONE X2, the camera itself. Um, this is a rugged 360 camera. There's lenses on both sides of the camera, and this could be used in a claims environment to document the claim and ultimately capture a Matterport scan. It pairs very nicely with Matterport's technology and also enables you to get some of the digital assets that Matterport helps deliver, including this schematic floor plan. So you can go ahead and capture a pre-mitigation scan, your post-mitigation scan, or your post-repair scan, let's say. You have a lot of variety and options with the Insta360 ONE X2. If you haven't checked out the uh, first video, the unboxing itself, we go into a deep dive on the camera itself and all the technology and uh, specs that this camera has. So go ahead and check that out. So recommended accessory number two is the all-purpose tripod. This is a sweet little piece of kit right here that has a, a really lightweight and small uh, form factor. It can be extended out, it can be shoved in the back of a pocket or in your kit, in your uh, Pelican case, we'll get to that later. Um, but a sweet little kit and it has that extendable base that ultimately allows us to have a wider area when we're setting up our camera. Because uh, as we know, in a claims environment, things aren't always stable. Um, you don't know what kind of uh, flooring material, material you're going to be scanning on. Uh, so this is a nice little piece of kit. The all-purpose tripod, definitely recommend you getting that. Recommended accessory number three is the 120 centimeter invisible selfie stick, as Insta360 likes to call it. Ultimately, it is the extendable part of your tripod, your full kit, that you're going to be attaching your camera to. What's nice about this is it can get pretty small form factor, maybe six to eight inches, and then it can be extended up all the way to your mid-chest level um, I'm six foot, stands about mid chest on me, which is a fantastic ability uh, to get uh, nice and high up to uh, capture, uh, you know, tops of countertops and those scratches, um, but all the way down and being able to put it inside of, let's say, a cabinet, capture some angle stops. So you have some good variety uh, with this extendable, basically monopod, um, and the invisible stealthy stick is a nice addition to your kit. We recommend having it, and we recommend using it while you're doing a normal capture with a pre-mitigation. All right, piece of kit number four. We have the actual lens cap. Now, the Insta360 ONE X2 lens cap, pretty simple silicone-based product, um, relatively cheap as well, but it's a good piece of insurance uh, when you have your camera either bouncing around in the back of the truck or on a job site. Just go ahead and stick that uh, lens cap on there. These lenses, they're rugged, but you wanna make sure that they don't scratch or break. So go ahead, grab yourself a lens cap, and just get yourself an extra piece of insurance. So if you're scanning in environments that require external lighting, let's say it's a large fire loss and you don't have power on site, you're going to need this kind of uh, this piece of kit right here. Uh, if you're scanning in environments where you do have power, you do have a generator on site, for example, and you don't necessarily need this, um, you might not want to include it in your kit. Really, it's going to be up to you and your job process and whatever kind of scanning that you're performing in the field most often. Sweet, and the next piece of kit here is an actual Pelican case. These rugged, hard cases are fantastic for the back of a truck, back of a van. Uh, when we travel and train across the country, we travel with a Pelican case. That's what we keep our equipment in. And we have never had an issue with it. With the foam inserts and the custom cuts, you can get a really nice kit built out for you and built out for your entire team. What's nice about this Pelican 1120 case um, is it's waterproof. It can float. It has the built-in foam that you can cut into it. And it's also a small form factor to fit all of this equipment that we're recommending. So the Pelican 1120 case, go ahead, pick that up and throw your Insta360 ONE X2 and the rest of the accessories on into it. So the next piece of kit is an Anchor Portable Charger. We're specifically showing the 20,000 milliamp version here, uh, but we recommend really any of their portable chargers and their products. We like Anchor as a brand. It's high quality, it's rugged, and simply, it just works. 
It works well and it works for year after year after year. What's nice about these chargers is they have multiple USB ports, so you can go ahead and charge your iPad that's paired with the Insta360 ONE X2, or you can charge the camera itself. You can also go ahead and charge any auxiliary equipment that you're using on site. And with 20,000 milliamp hours, uh, you have the ability to charge this thing up multiple times on a job site or your iPad uh, and get that thing up and running for the entire day that's ahead of you. Now, I would go ahead and pair this maybe with a uh, car charger or something to that extent, just so you have that flexibility of charging on the road. Um, but ultimately, this Anchor portable charger is gonna be a nice little piece of kit for you as you go ahead and scan multiple job sites in a day. And lastly, this is kind of a cheat, right? It's not one piece of kit, but they all pair together. We have painter's tape, we have rubber door stops, and we have binder clips. Now, Cole, I'm not working in an office. Why do I need binder clips? Why do I need door stops or you know, painter's tape? I'm not a painter. What's going on? Well, this is all used to pull back containment and keep doors open. So as you know, if you've taken AI Matterport certified, a uh, course down in the link in the description below, um, if you've taken that course, you know that you need to open up all containment and open up doors and drawers when you're scanning. This allows the uh, 3D model to be built in a uh, more sophisticated manner and you end up with a better scan and then better digital assets on top of it. So we recommend these three pieces of kit to go ahead and just shove them down in your Pelican case. Build out a little area for them and just keep them in there and make sure it's always stocked. Um, a lot of this you'll, you'll go ahead and scan. You might forget it on a job site tape you can't reuse, for example. So go ahead and uh, pick up these three pieces of equipment. We traditionally favored binder clips over tape when cleaning that containment. A lot of times it has that white film on it that uh, becomes difficult to use with the blue painter's tape. Um, so that's why we recommend both the blue painter's tape. So the painter's tape, the binder clips, and the door stop, go ahead, throw that in your kit, and you'll be all set to pin back containment and keep your drawers and doors open for your scan. So that is our full recommended kit for this Insta360 ONE X2. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead, drop a comment down in the comment section below, or you can go and give this video a thumbs up wherever you may be watching, or go ahead, follow and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, you can always find more like it at getinsights.org. And I wanna thank you for joining today's Matter Hack. I'll catch you guys in the next one.